FYI, I'm anime only, so don't be spoiling shit, and don't be surprised if I don't know what's coming next. Lots of imagery of Rico underwater, and fish, in general. The ocean is vast, uncaring, cruel, much like this episode. Ghetto plays an interesting role in this friend group. Only makes me more curious about what happens with him later. He's being logical and cold, but we know he's a secret softy. We been new. Eyelash animation. Eyelash animation times two! Love how they distract you with this fucking beach episode and Gojo's abs. <sighs> Gigi is one diabolical writer. And I love that we skipped to Kuroi being back already. We don't really need to see that fight. It's Gojo. But it's also a great setup for what comes later because we always expect this type of situation. Hard cut from happy music is suspicious. It's perfect that Gojo has his personality, so he doesn't mind doing this weird shit, because it's useful. This laughing animation. Interesting comment considering who attacks them next. This didn't tip me off, but Gojo's overconfidence here is definitely a sign of what's to come. It's too happy! Rewatching this episode sucks balls. She's swimming with the fishes. Beautiful sequence, music, and animation. I was expecting Fushiguro to appear this whole episode, and this still caught me way off guard. Even as a child, he is a G. Again, I foolishly believed him. He's extremely smart for how bad he is with money. First animation win of many. Good job portraying speed. Holy fuck. See? Same shot as when he was a child. My god, the choreography is always so crazy. The amount of buildings this man just went through. False goals, bro. He warned your ass. But holy fuck, look at those hands. The cursed energy, the camera moving, the rocks, the destruction, the power demonstration. Ten wins. And I love that it doesn't even work. Incredible moment with the sound editing really punctuates this whole moment. The sheer violence is insane here. And holy hell, the amount of blood. So confusing. Like, huh? I mean, I know he's fine. So, what? It's amazing how much emotion is here for characters that I only met two episodes ago. The silence and slow footsteps are excellent in building tension. Environment design. Well, we all knew this was coming. But again, it's excellent setup for what comes next. Overconfidence. It will get you every single time. <laughs> the fucking I'm special monologue with the corny ass ending song in the back is just so goddamn rude. Sometimes the editors and animators on this show are actually worse than Gigi. <laughs> and she so deserves to live. 
リコちゃん Oh, the hard cut. It's so bad. Five wins. The accuracy of Ghetto's reaction time. Kai san, Kai san. Bringing a gun to a sorcery fight and having it work in your favor. Curse design. These fuckers are creepy. So, ka. And the ending is so abrupt. This show is great at keeping you wanting more. Support us on Patreon for early access to new videos, the ability to vote on new shows, full time reactions, and more at patreon.com slash tv underscore wins. Thanks for watching!